lovely to be in your computer again um, or your phones if you're watching this from your phone but I wanted to do another video about my first term at university I mean my second year study at University of York and it's been awesome it's been the best term um, and I'm not I'm kind of not surprised because our terms always our lives always get better and better um, so yeah it's been really really good and if I was to sum it up in three points I would say that it's been I'm looking down because you can see like my notes um, but yeah you can't see my notes but yeah so three points it's been fulfilling um, it's been fun and I've made I've met some great people um, and God's been answering my prayers so that's kind of combined in the third so point. yeah basically what happened Mary Cole 2 4 had to delete a few videos so yeah we are back and continuing Okay, so what I do outside my studies at university is that I'm involved in um, Believers Love World Campus Fellowship and I'm leading it so I'm coordinator and basically it's like church on campus so we pray and we worship and we come together, we share the word and share testimonies and yeah and it's awesome. We like I started it last year but it wasn't it wasn't so easy because um, I was the only one doing it. It was just basically me trying to spearhead this thing forward and it was quite hard. Yeah, I remember last year I prayed, I was like, Father, I pray that you give me people who are on fire for God and have caught the vision so we can run together and, you know, do your work um, and save souls and bless people. Um, and yeah, and he did and he gave me such a treasure. I love her so much. She's such a gift to my life, like big time. She's like Ding. my best friend. Um, I don't know whether I should mention her name, but whoever knows me, they know who I'm talking about. Um, because I always brag about her all the time, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so amazing, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, no, she, she got born again, she became born again, um, when we went on holiday, during the summer, um, so, yeah, and she's just on fire, and she, her heart is so open, and she's so selfless, um, she's just been a treasure um, to me. So yeah, it's been really, really lovely, very fulfilling, because when you see someone being saved, or you see someone speaking in tongues, um, that they didn't know how to before, it's just like, oh! This is what I was made to do. <laughs> and there is no other feeling like that. So it's been awesome. And um, yes, with friends. Because I remember well, last like, year I prayed um, to God and I asked him, God, you know, I, I don't feel like I've met people that I see as lifelong friends because um, I know my auntie and everyone say, oh, you know, in university you meet your lifelong friends. Da, 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 da. I already have a few already um, from secondary school, but. Um, I really wanted to feel connected and I remember talking to my sister and she was like Emma you've only been here for like a month like you can't expect for you guys just to like you know and be like best friends forever because you don't really know them whereas for example people like Comfort you've known her for like seven years and I'm like okay that is so true and so I remember I prayed and I asked God for friends <laughs> that sounds quite sad but essentially like God knows everything and he is your my but he is my best friend so I talked to him about this stuff and and I prayed um, for God to bring into my life like lifelong friends and um, and he so did and this year I've just met some amazing, amazing and yeah people. my relationship with God um, which will be the last thing I will talk about oh <laughs> We had IPPC um, this term and it's called International Pastors and Partners Conference um, and I went there and woo, the word, the word changed my life for sure. I love Brother Strife, he is awesome, but the word changed my life um, and as a result of that meeting I've just been, just like, I've been re-energised because as someone who gives and gives and gives not just of you know money but like just the word you keep encouraging other people you need to be f constantly filled because God understands that if you just keep giving giving and you're not being filled you end up having nothing to give um, and so this and then IPPC was that really infilling of the word of the spirit and just the anointing just the infilling of grace as well and yeah and I've just been one thing that I've learned is that he abides in me and I abide in him he lives in me, he, he, God lives in me, like, and he does the work. Um, that's why doing BLW isn't burdensome or it isn't hard because I've experienced this during this first term. I have a helper who's constantly, constantly, like he's like, not my personal assistant or secretary, but he knows what I need to do and he will constantly remind me. I was trying to do it by myself and uh -uh, 
I was, I felt, I felt, I felt heavy. Like, I thought it was pressure. I was like, too much. I was like, God, how can I do this? How can I do this? Da, 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 da. And it was like, how can I? How can I do this? And God was like, Emma, it's not you. All right? It's me. Like, you're not gonna, not that you're not gonna do anything, but you're just, you're not, yeah, you're the vessel. I'm the one who does it. Jesus says, the Father who lives in me, he is the one who does the work. And so when you try and do it yourself, mm -mm, you're gonna flop. Um, Big time. Um, and so, for example, when I was praying, um, God spoke to me and he said, because I was like, God, like, not I feel so disappointed, but I'm thinking, oh, like, I was not discouraged, but like, along those lines. And God said, God said to me, Emma, I, I see, I see your works and I know that you love me because what I also learned from IPPC is that for you to show your love to God is not in your emotions and in your tears um, and in your words, but it's in your actions. It says, um, those who love, Jesus said, those who love me keep my commandments. So you obviously being flat on your face and crying to God and Da, 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 da. That's not what shows him that you love him, but it is when you do the work of God and when you do the word. Um, in that sense, for example, you learn that God um, wants you to forgive. Um, God is a forgiving God and he's made you a forgiven person um, because the love of God is shed abroad in your heart. And when someone wrongs you, if you decide to uh, you know, hold a grudge, then you're not doing the word. Even though you've learnt it in the church or whatever, but you're not doing the word. However, if you do the word and you, you forgive them, because God tells us to do that, then you show God that you love him and you yield yourself to his will, which is his word. Because the reason why I do what I do, the reason why I'm doing BLW and I'm leading and I'm functioning in church and, um, you know, doing everything, and it's because I love God. Like, essentially, that is it. And yeah, and it says, those who love me keep my commandments. And so by doing the work of God, I'm showing, and for him to tell me that he knows and he sees it, woo, that got me to tears. Because it's like, when someone acknowledges your effort and praises you, it like, it makes you flatter inside and it, it warms your heart. Like that's why, you know, boys and girls like in, in school, they need affirmation when they're growing up by their parents. They need, they need that, you know, encouragement that like, okay, oh, I see what you're doing and oh, you are so obedient. Oh, Emma, you're so lovely, da da da. You're so good, well done, da da da. Children need that and it's the same with me. I need that from God. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, seek, for, um, seek that affirmation from anyone else but God because I'm not living my life for anyone else but Him. I'm, I'm coming to know him more and more and more as I meditate on the Rhapsody of Realities. Should I quickly get it? Because I know everyone wants to see it. The Rhapsody of Realities for this month. It looks so pretty. Um, so yeah, I've been meditating on that every day and just in the word and listening to Pastor Chris's messages, who's my pastor. So term one in general has been wonderful and been so fulfilling and it's been so fun with my friends. Do it again! Do it again! say thank you so much for your support and your comments and your subscriptions and yes I've you know I'm really encouraged by my channel and inspired by your comments and things like that but yes have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year and really just praise God and give him thanks for everything um, because he's awesome and yes I love you guys so much and have yeah a beautiful holiday God bless you bye <laughs>